and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. So they have finally released the brand new Michael Vick card. I saw it coming yesterday. I said in the market video that I should have sold Pat Mahomes. I'm surprised they did this because it seemed to be the current trend was to drop limited time legends that were more third party. I was thinking like a Brian Erlacher, maybe a Troy Polamalu, a Brian Finneran, maybe James Harrison. They dropped a uh, Patrick Willis, a Bo Jackson. These are typically cards that get like one time limited time cards. Not the usual like, crop of legends, but they did drop Michael Vick, which is kind of upsetting. In, in some aspects, not exactly, but because that now that he's limited time, he's gonna be very, very hard to acquire. Although there is tips to get him for pretty cheap, which I'll give you guys later in the video. But as a whole, it's kind of annoying. Um, I thought he'd be coming at least towards the end of the promo. We do get him for free though if you do play the solos ten weeks from now, so that's not horrible. But I was expecting that he would be a regular set legend on Saturdays, which would have made him around like maybe 600k. But now that he's a limited time card, he will probably be close to. I don't even know, like 3 million coins, which is going to be unobtainable for like 95% of the community. So that kind of that kind of does suck. Now, I went over yesterday, if you guys watched the Market Talk video, for like maybe 20 minutes talking about how I should probably sell Pat Mahomes and that I think I'm just going to wait it out until the new quarterback comes out like Michael Vick. And I literally said yesterday, you can go check that out if you guys don't believe me. And I didn't sell him and now he's 100k less. So I did lose out. Now let's go check what he is. But before I go do that, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit the sub button. We're at around 7.6k right now. We're closing in on 8k. And if you haven't already, hit the like button. I know it's a content video, but it is for Michael Vick, so hit the like button. Let's get the video to 200 likes, and comment down below if you're going to be getting this Vick. I'm not entirely sure. I know I'm going to be getting him, but I don't know if I'll be getting the limited time one for at least a month and a half minimum. Look, if you go check out Patrick Mahomes right now, Patrick Mahomes' price has plummeted. He is at 227k. I should have sold him for 318 yesterday. I would have made 100k more. I was going to just wait it out, but then I was like, weekend league starts tomorrow, so then I'll kind of screw myself a weekend league. But little did I know, I'd be getting the Vic today, so it wouldn't really even matter. Steve, like I said, and I also said, guys, don't don't buy Steve Young, because inevitably when Vic does drop, the price of quarterbacks will die. And look at Steve Young. Now Steve Young is 339. His price is killed now. I'll go, I'll go over these Vic stacks and Oh, Vic stacks. I'll go over these Vic stats in just a second once I go through the part, uh, price of these cards. Now, Vic obviously does get escape artists with his insane speed, so that's going to be, it's not even fair if you really think about it, considering Steve Young with an 81 speed was unsackable because, because of um, escape artists, so he literally couldn't be sacked. He could just outrun any sack and throw it away. Vic, I believe, has an 88 speed, so I don't even want to know what escape artists could do on that, but there is a way to get him for a lot cheaper, but I will go over that after going over to his actual card stats. So look it over here on Twitter, because obviously he's not going to come out till about 16 more minutes. Michael Vick, 92 overall. The card art's pretty cool. That card art, I don't remember what it looks like from which Madden, I don't know if it was Madden 15, 25, 16. They had a similar card art for one of his limited time cards. I remember this, at least this type of card art. I don't know if the exact one. It's a Mutt 10 player. His salary cap 74, which is actually a little bit low for a for Michael Vick. I thought it'd be a little higher. He has the foot cam. I don't know if that's evasive or, I mean, I mean, escape artist or whatever. Looking to the right to Steve Young. Steve Young's is a football, so that's a different archetype. So I wonder why it's like that. Unless Vic can't get escape artists, but I highly doubt he can't. That wouldn't even make sense. He's six feet tall, so he's a little bit on the smaller side for quarterback, but closer to average. 88 speed, 92 throw power, 85 throw accuracy short, 83 throw accuracy mid, 86 throw accuracy deep, 86 throw under pressure, 91 throw on the run, and 82 play action. Now, obviously the throw accuracy is a little bit lower than we'd like, but if you guys know how thresholds work, where if it's between 80 and 90, it's typically similar in any in most aspects. So. He's very similar to Mahomes, if you really think about it. He has the 92 throw power, so he actually has a stronger arm than Mahomes. If you if you power this card up and chem it up, he will have the throw under pressure threshold, threshold with go deep. He'll have a very, very high throw power. He'll have the throw deep threshold, and I believe his throw on the run will be a little bit higher. And you'll have an 89 speed powered up. So this card powered up did everything you really need. You have the throw deep, you have the throw power, the speed, and pretty much decent throw accuracy stats across the board, and the throw under pressure, which is huge, especially when you're out running sacks and stuff. And if so, if you put, if you can get escape artists in this guy and roaming dead eye, he's gonna be just as good as Patrick Mahomes. Not to mention the speed, so you can pretty much put speed on Mahomes. This is a card I've been waiting for. Now there are other ways to get him besides just buying a limited time card that could be equally as good minus third ability slot. But I imagine this method will have slightly worse stats, but it honestly isn't that horrible when you guys really think about it. Now let's come back over to the Madden screen. Actually, before we do that, guys, you can imagine that this whole weekend league is gonna be full of Vicks, whether or not they're powered up Vicks or they're limited time Vicks. I can't imagine seeing that many. 
I will open my weekend league and monthly reward packs. Hopefully I can get them, but I highly doubt I will. I haven't gotten a limited time pull of my whole career since Madden 13, so I don't imagine this would be my first, but if it is, that'd be pretty cool. Let's come back over to the Madden screen. All right, so back over to the Madden screen. So if you guys do compare Steve Young to him looking at these stats, Steve Young has better throw accuracy mid, short, and deep, and throw under pressure. And pretty much almost all throwing stats besides throw on the run. Except he's be Vic has better throw power, speed, similar throw on the pressure once you come him up. Similar, uh, better throw on the run. So that's kind of all you really need in this game right now, in reality. Steve Young's obviously the better passer, but 88 speed to 81 is a huge difference. He goes from being like a really bad budget halfback to being Tyreek Hill with, uh, with an arm. So it kind of is definitely a really big advantage. Now the best thing you guys can do is that First off, you want to go play your solo challenges. If you guys want this Vic for free in 10 weeks, go over to challenges. You're going to see Mutt 10 right here coming on down to Madden Ultimate Team 10. I don't want to click into it because it usually kicks me out of Madden because there's no challenges right now. At about 4 p.m. Eastern time, there will be the Michael Vic challenges. Make sure you play them. You have a three-day limit. Tipic, not right now. Not right now. You have a three-day limit from Thursday to Sunday. So that is starting Thursday at 10.30 a.m. And then to Sunday. No, actually Monday at 10.30 a.m. And if you don't get these solos done, you can't miss any. It's not like the Team of the Weeks where if you missed one, you can make it up with a token later on. You have to get all 10 tokens and collect all of them to be able to acquire the free limited time fantasy pack. So you can obviously still get a Vic. So hope's not lost on Vic. Although if they drop a Dion, I'm going to be conflicted on who I want there. But obviously, I probably have to take Vic. Or, you know, there's Bo Jackson, Patrick Willis. But don't make sure you don't miss these. And when you do play the solo, you do get a free Michael Vic power-up, which is how I'm, I'm going to be getting my Vic day one. Pretty much, I think, for the cost of maybe 150000 worth of training, you can power Vic all the way up to a 90 overall. So you're going to have a 90 overall scrambling quarterback for about 150 k which is not bad at all. Now, you can probably only get three ability slots, being that he is a 90 overall power-up. I don't know how it works. You have to be above 90 overall to get the third slot. I don't think that's how it works. I think it's more like you have to be the full card to get the third slot. So when I was looking, when you when you do the, um, when you power them up, their last second to last upgrade is their full card, and their last upgrade is typically their last ability slots and the superstar X factor typically. So if that is the case, I think escape artist is only a third bracket option. So that would mean that you cannot get escape artist on the 90 Vic, which would really suck. But then again, I'm not going to complain about having a 90 overall Vic. Price of training might go up slightly once people start getting these Vicks. I could be wrong. I don't know, but that's why I have a lot of binder stuff ready in case something like this. Let me show you guys what I mean by the fact that the third slot isn't usually active if you don't fully power them up. So if you come over to Patrick Willis at an 89 overall and you go to upgrade, you can see right here that without his full card, I cannot get his third ability slot or his X factor, which would typically be escape artist, evasive and all the other cool chemistries. And you also can't get his X factor. So Vic cannot get an X factor or escape artist, which kind of sucks because he'd be very overpowered. But I know they did that for a reason because if you could, there'd really be no reason to have the full cards all the time because you couldn't technically with the abilities and his X factor really barely notice the difference. But I'm still gonna be picking him up. I imagine if we look at the training, right, for Patrick Willis, it cost him about like a little over 100k probably to upgrade him. So I'd imagine to get that 90th overall upgrade, it'll probably cost a little bit more. So I'm going to go like 150k total to upgrade any card beyond here at this 92 overall. And as you guys can see, I think if I'm not wrong, the overalls are going up now, right? So if I think Vic being a 92 is going to be the highest overall so far released. I could be wrong, so I'm going to check. Because if it is, that means they're going to be increasing the overall, which means at the end of 10 weeks when you get the fantasy pack, it's going to be a tougher decision because they're not all going to be on equal playing fields, which is kind of what I imagined. Let's see right here. So yeah, Bo Jackson 91, Patrick Willis 91. So that means I think every two weeks is going to go up in overall. So that's kind of interesting because then that means that by the end of this whole promo, they might be like 95 overall ultimate team players. So it's going to be a tough decision of whether or not you go with the 95 overall safety lineman cornerback over the 92 overall Vic. Now, they're all going to be limited time, so it won't be too hard because they're still going to be very expensive no matter what their overall is. But that's something you have to kind of watch out for because let's say they drop a 95 Calvin Johnson week 10 and then right now they have a 92 Vic. It comes down to who would you rather have. So pretty much whoever you power up and go all the way with because obviously you want to make these cards last long term. So you'd probably want to go powered up and then hold them for the rest of the year because they are limited time cards. You can't just get another one. There's no redos on that. And they do go for millions of coins. So you probably can't really afford these on your own. You have to pretty much take this pack, which does kind of suck. I was hoping they'd keep the first party legends like Vic, Deion Sanders, Randy Moss, and all the, you know, mutt favorites out of it, but they did not. They dropped Vic. I guess that's to a limit how many Vicks you're going to see in game. And then they gave us a free pack. So I guess the purpose of making him one of the first ones is that you have a tough decision and you won't see so many Vicks. So I guess they're cutting down on Vicks and escape artists, which I guess makes sense because it'd be very dumb if there was escape artists Vicks everywhere. This weekend league should be fun with Bo Jackson's and Vicks. I cannot wait to see one of those. I'll probably quit the second I see one of those because can you imagine Bo Jackson with Bruiser? Armbar, Wrecking Ball, Punisher, and then Vic with Escape Artist, Roaming Deadeye. It won't be fun to play with. I mean, I'd love to have it, but I can't obviously afford both with the coin stack I currently have. But 
the second that challenge comes out i'll probably be doing it getting my michael vick and then testing out on weekend league i do have monthly rewards and weekly rewards coming to you guys tomorrow i'll probably separate them considering there are quite a few packs for both and hopefully we can pull vick out of that so i will not be touching those until vick does come out which should be pretty soon i think in about 10 minutes but that's about it for the video if you guys did enjoy make sure to go down below hit the like button to get the video to 200 likes for michael vick comment down below if you're going to be powering him up and who you plan to take from that legend fantasy pack when the time comes and also if you haven't already go hit the sub button boys and turn on the noti bell to get notified every time i post a brand new video that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next one.